Okay, a little bit later here, a few minutes. This is the drain, it's a white line right here. This is the drain for the water heater system. It's also a low point, so it'll drain the water out of everything, uh, at least on this side of the van. This is where the heater hoses come through. These are nice big bulkhead connectors I put in last weekend. As you can see, I've got it all secured all the way up the frame rail here. Can't see it from the outside. It's actually below the level of this rail right here. Runs up there on the frame, up around the subframe. It's tied all the way up to the left side of the steering rack where it goes up to the edge compartment. And I'll move around to the front of the van where the engine is running. And now you can kind of see it because it's very difficult to get good lighting in here. Anyway, you can see it comes up the side over here, tied in, two valves. There's right over here the key connections into the heater hoses. Nice hot heater hoses, so I know the fluid's in there. Reservoir's up the level, actually slightly over full, but that's because uh, it's totally hot now. Both of these valves right here can be cut off. What you do is just reach in here and turn these things sideways like that, and now there's no more hot water going to the hot water heater. It still has the antifreeze in the lines, obviously, but this way I can shut the thing off when I don't have you know, water in, in the water tank and I uh, don't want to run the heater during the winter or something like that. Or if I need to shut it off on the side of a trail somewhere, if we were to spring a leak anywhere, I could shut the lines off there and maintain the integrity of the cooling system. Anyway, that's where we're at for uh, Saturday, June 5th.